urban pantry I'm about to can up some green beans my local Walmart had a great deal on frozen green beans you could get a 12 ounce pack for 70 cents so I have 12 12 ounce packs of frozen green beans I did run them through the strainer with some water so they are completely unthawed um, I learned the hard way that you want to make sure they are unthawed and then I have here, this is a pack of turkey tails that I put into my pressure cooker and pressure cook those for about 15 minutes and until like the meat started to fall apart and then I um, just kind of shredded the meat. This is my first time using turkey tails and I have to tell you, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with the turkey tails. I'd rather have turkey legs. But I was going through the book, The Complete Guide to Pressure Canning by the Canning Diva, and she had in there green beans with bacon. And I usually don't put bacon in my green beans, but I'll put smoked turkey in there or diced ham. So I decided to do that today. So three of my jars have turkey in them, and then the other four jars have diced ham. I was going to mix the turkey with the ham, but I thought just in case I would serve it to someone that doesn't eat ham, I should probably keep it separate. So what I'm doing is just putting some meat down at the bottom and then I'm going to put my green beans on them and then I'll probably put some more meat at the top. My hands are clean, I just washed them. So I'm going to start filling the jars. Raw packing vegetables like this, I think it's really easy because all you do is fill them in the jars. They don't have to be warmed up as long as you have hot water. So I got some water boiling and then I turned that off. And now I'm about to get started canning everything. I'm not sure how many quarts I'm going to get with all of the green beans that I have, but I got jars, so I'm good with that. So I have seven quart jars here ready to go, and that's how much my canner will take for a canner load. So this is about six of the 12 ounce bags. So I think that will be enough for a canner load. And it's okay if I don't have enough meat left because then I'll just can them by themselves. And then they don't take as much time to process. So before I fill any more, I'm going to put the rest of the meat in. So these four over here have the diced ham. Then I'm going to put the last of the turkey into these three. Just kind of dividing it all equally. I like to really pack my green beans into there because watch when I get done, they are going to float. And I don't want any space. I want to make sure that I am using every inch of these jars. So actually, I got all 12 of those ounces into all these jars. So there are the jars. I've used all the green beans. You can see how they're pretty full now before I've added any water or anything. This one has turkey in it. Or I'm sorry, this one has the ham in it. And this one has turkey in it. Now I'm going to fill all of these with hot water. I 
I am planning to can some greens. Lady Cheryl did a video where she canned some greens with turkey and it looks so good. So that's on my to-do list. But I want to do a lot. I don't want to do a little bit because it's going to shrink down. So <laughs> I'm hoping my mom will come over and help me pick some greens one day. Make the time go faster that way. So I'm filling these all to one inch headspace. And then I am going to clean each rim with a paper towel with a little vinegar soaked on it. I believe for a quart of green beans with just the green beans, those can be processed in 25 minutes. But because I'm doing the meat, these need to be processed for 90 minutes in the pressure canner. Here's the finished product. I have four quarts of green beans cooked with diced ham. And then I have three quarts of green beans cooked with smoked turkey tails. Not bad. Thank you for watching TT's Urban Pantry. If you enjoyed this content or was able to learn anything from it, please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And as always, have a wonderful and blessed day.